Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes. Starting out here with a look at our sun for the past 48 hours. No major solar flares or CMEs thwarted our way. Observing some pretty complex sunspot regions and as well plasma filament across the northern hemisphere and large coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, this is where we can see most of the sunspot activity cresting into view and as well turning into view. Have a look here at the last 48 hours outgoing. There was some intense activity in the outgoing position on the back side of the sun, but not much thwarted our way. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, deepening coronal hole in the southern hemisphere, tried to stretch towards the equator, but then it backed down. You can see that activity on the back side of the sun, as well plasma filaments dancing around there in the southeastern region. Another look here at our sun. This is where we can see the coronal hole into an Earth-facing view now. And watch for solar wind speeds to die down just before we get the impact from the solar winds tonight and into tomorrow. And we're already at a geomagnetic storm, G3 geomagnetic storm, after seeing the KP index hop up to 7 in the past 24 hours. Having a look here at the active sunspot regions on our sun. Pretty big one there in the southern hemisphere. Matching the blue one in the northern hemisphere. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Let's have a look here at geomagnetic act activity as we're sitting at a G3 Solar X-ray flux remains in a low C range to B range. Solar proton flux slowed down. KP index was up to 7. And this is why. Look at the aurora forecast for tonight. Across eastern Russia and then western Europe, central Europe, over Iceland and Greenland. Huge northern lights activity. Coming in tonight for Canada and westward around the North Pole. And this most likely will continue for the next couple of days. Having a look here at the total electron count, all of those dark and deepening reds are not good. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 480 kilometers per second. Noticing here, though, the density bunches as they jumped up to 50. This is why our KP index hopped right up to KP7. 54 it topped out at. Having a look at Lasco 2, showing the last 48 hours of images. As you can see, no major CMEs taking off from our sun. Except for the backside there. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 54. Strong Schumann resonance for today. Hopped up just around 11 and carried on. Amplitude of 54, quality 9.7. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to bump it up, though, to the last 48 hours. As I did not produce an update yesterday. A little under the weather. Feeling much better today, though. Yesterday, we did have a strong 6.5 earthquake. 209 kilometer depth. San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, followed by 5.3. And then we've seen a lot of activity here. Chile and southward towards the West Chile rise. As well a 5.1 there, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, seeing two five-pointers and a 4.9. Costa Rica, reporting a 4.4 today. Across the United States. Largest activity reported was Ferndale, California. Other than that, not too much to report of. No swarms 
But interesting data coming out of Canada this week. We've seen quite a few earthquakes through Alberta. And that 5.1 earthquake that we reported late last week, that was the strongest earthquake that's ever hit Alberta. So you got to wonder what's shifting east side of the Rockies towards Peace River. That's a quick glance at earthquakes across the west coast. Nothing major to report. But definitely wanted to share this information with you. Carrying on here around the world. Activity increasing through Alaska. 5.6 there. Miyako, Japan. As well as 5.6. Nemoak, Philippines. 5.7 there. Papua New Guinea. As well as 5.2. Loyalty Islands, 4.9 here reported in Peterborough, Australia. Santa Cruz Islands, 5.2, 10 kilometer depth. And Fiji, New Zealand. Fiji's very quiet today, only reporting one 5.5 there, North Kermadec Islands. We also did see that large 6.5 Afghanistan the other day. Minor aftershocks continue through the region. As well, a couple earthquakes to report here. Albania, 4.4 and a 4.9 reported today. 4.2 there in France as well. You don't normally get earthquakes there. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. I'll give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. And we've seen four major earthquakes this week. Right after deep earthquake movements. See, these earthquakes can be forecasted as long as we're paying attention to everything else that's happening around the world. In regards to weather and, of course, earthquakes. And, of course, our sun and volcanoes. All connected to our magnetic field. Let's have a look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got some severe weather breaking out across the U.S. We've got Dokono in Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Sangay in Ecuador. 206 active hazards through this app right now. Semeru in Indonesia. As well, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Reventador in Ecuador, Ibu, Indonesia, Fuego in Guatemala, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Ebico in Russia. That's all in the last nine hours, folks. It's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at satellite imagery, huge atmospheric river of moisture penetrating the coastline of France and the United Kingdom with a huge low pressure system, North Atlantic. Forecasted here with daily events. Looking across the Pacific, some intense weather and moisture heading into California and eastward as it runs across the United States and into Canada. Forecast coming up shortly. Also got some intense systems moving across Central Pacific. One, two, three. Overlooking the rest of the world. Huge low pressure system over the United Kingdom right now bringing in waves of moisture and two tightly whipped systems heading across the West Indies. Having a look here at weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Right now we do have a low off the coast of the Atlantic provinces and as well a low pressure system heading through BC right now. The center of the low is there. Got snow falling across Ontario. But watch for this system here through the states to bring some extreme weather and most likely some tornadoes. Also got some interesting blizzard conditions moving into the Atlantic provinces of Canada. There's the forecast for Saturday. We could see some snow on the backside of this system as it comes through. As we've still got some very chilly temperatures spinning around the Hudson Bay right now. 
Long range forecast, another low dipping down through California. And some interesting weather developing along the East Coast. Long range forecast, pretty big low developing here over Ontario. Going to bring quite a bit of rain towards the end of the month. Snow across the prairies and BC most of the week. And as well as snow through higher elevations through the Pacific Northwest and Ontario. Overlooking Europe, Africa, parts of South America. No major weather systems. Just showing you the forecast models here for lows. And as well, daily evaporation rains across Africa. Notice that huge center low spinning across the North Atlantic. You've got about three low pressure systems this week affecting the United Kingdom. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, Southeast Asia and Australia. Forecast models not forecasting any cyclones or typhoons in the long range forecast here. Just some spotty showers and thunderstorms across Australia. And some moisture moving in towards New Zealand long range forecast. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. Maybe share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.